Hello, my name's Olivia. I'm a graduate of the class of 2019, and this is my color critic project that I made on the Raspberry Pi for my end of the year project in computer science. So the screen we're working with now essentially shows the code for the Pi, the Python shell, which shows all the output, and a file is open so that I can see all of the audio files that I have downloaded from my Google Drive. The Pi itself is inside this box that I took the time to paint to look very nice. The concept behind my project is that I will be using the color sensor, which collects data in clear, red, green, and blue. Red, green, and blue are values that you should be familiar with when you did the unit on digital painting. In this box, I made a little cutout for the Pi and another one for the color sensor. And the reason why I had to make this box is because the color sensor is so sensitive that changes in light can alter the values that it picks up. And when that happens, it's near to impossible to get accurate readings with the number of colors that I used. Initially, I had 10. Unfortunately, the code didn't work out as good as I thought it would. And last minute, I had to reduce the number from 10 to 5 for both the male and female output for voices. And as you can see here, I was inserting different color swatches into the pie, and I was getting readings that didn't make any sense. I'd put the orange under, and I'd select male, and the code would tell me that I was looking at yellow, or something like that. And then I'd get this error with no audio output device being found. Although I have my speaker, the Pi doesn't seem willing to connect to it through Bluetooth, and so I'm just going to put a little file here of what sounds you should be hearing. The bit of sound that you'll hear now is the female output for orange. Orange is a very lively color. It is named after the fruit itself, actually. And the male output for orange. Orange is between yellow and red, powerful and optimistic. The most difficult part of this project was figuring out what I wanted to do with the data that I had collected. Finding the code needed to get the Pi to start spitting out values that I could use was relatively easy, and there are plenty of sources found online. But then I had a lot of numbers I didn't know what to do with, so I took something that I was interested in, which is color and color psychology, and I created a little interactive activity where you could just see what colors mean. The Color Critic project was one of those things that only works in one scenario and then doesn't seem to want to work ever again but I was pretty pleased with the outcome. It took a lot of time to get the environment set up, the box, and make it look presentable, and to manage my if-else statements to print out what I wanted and when I wanted. Long story short, the Pi is a pretty interesting little piece of technology. I'll put some images on the screen now of what the project looked like all set up in the classroom. It worked just fine there. Um, four of the five colors worked. One of them overlapped with the values of the other, and didn't really give us output that we wanted. But it was a good experience. Thank you for watching.